If you're not familiar with R. Scott Clark, let me just say that he is an associate professor of historical and systematic theology at Westminster Seminary in California. Recently, I had an exchange with this R. Scott Clark on an internet forum, which is named PuritanBoard.com. In the exchange, R. Scott Clark was arguing that there is no salvation outside the local church congregation. Yes, let me repeat it again in case some of you are shocked. This man who's being paid to teach the seminary is claiming that there is no salvation outside your local church congregation. I responded by pointing out that this is not Reformed theology and that our justification is based upon Christ's active and passive obedience imputed to us, not on our membership in any local church congregation. I thought it amazing that one hired to teach Calvinism at a seminary could make such a mistake. But this was simply the beginning. R. Scott Clark responded to my criticism by stating, and I quote, Justification and salvation are sola gratia et sola fide, but those gifts are only administered in visible local congregations. End quote. So, R. Scott Clark is clearly claiming that unless you are physically present in a local church congregation, then it is impossible for God to regenerate, justify, or convert the elect. R. Scott Clark claimed that he had a high view of the local church, but I had no idea just how high it was until now. This is not Calvinism. This view is not found anywhere in Reformed theology, nor can it be found in any place within the scriptures. This is an outright attack on sola scriptura, and it favors the Catholic position, which is known as sola ecclesia. One can find many places in scripture where God's elect were regenerated and converted apart from any local church congregation. One might point to Moses, to Rahab, to the woman Christ converted at the well, see John 4, 6-29, to the Apostle Paul, to the Ethiopian, who was converted by reading the scripture in a chariot far, far from any local congregation, see Acts chapter 8, verses 26-39, and so on. When R. Scott Clark denies that one can be regenerated, justified or converted outside the presence of a local church congregation, then he explicitly attacks 2 Timothy 3.15, which clearly states, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Notice Paul doesn't stipulate that you must be in the presence of a local church congregation before the word becomes effectual. Christ says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. John 17:17. 17, 17. Notice here that Christ doesn't say we are sanctified through the local church congregation. Christ taught sola scriptura, not sola ecclesia. So after I refuted these absurd remarks, R. Scott Clark responds once again, saying, and I quote, The revealed will of God is that salvation and justification are to be sought and found in a true church where the means of grace are administered, end quote. Such a statement is a complete denial of total depravity, and at the same time it is an assertion of human free will apart from God. It is a denial of God's absolute predestination in all things. Paul was extremely clear that no ordinary descendant from Adam seeks God. The Bible says, There is none that understand. There is none that seeketh after God. The Bible says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. The Bible is clear that men spiritually dead do not seek God. They do not seek anything of God, for they are dead in their sins. 
Well, I didn't get a chance to respond to this heretical remark made by R. Scott Clark of Westminster Seminary in California, for I was suspended before that could happen by some moderator from PuritanBoard.com who was obviously trying to protect R. Scott Clark and his Westminster Seminary. Anyway, you can read the thread for yourself. The website is titled PuritanBoard.com. And the thread is titled, Are Church Members Free Agents? <laughs>